Hi folks, nice from HighOnAndroid.com where we get on Android every day. Today I'm going to show you how to turn your Note 2 into a hybrid S5 uh, Note 3 uh, with custom ROMs. And uh, some people asked me, like some people left a comment on one of my social networks. They're like, oh Max, you don't have to root, just stay stock. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm going to prove to you today that uh, I'm going to turn your Note 2 into an S5 Note 3 hybrid uh, with cool features like ultra power saving mode from the S5, um, also Air Command and S Pen window feature from the Note 3, essentially turning your Note 2 into something better than an S5 since you also have the uh, Pen window feature along with uh, some of the features with the S5. So let's go do this, baby. <sighs> Hi right, folks, so let me go ahead and show you some of these cool ROMs that can turn your Note 2 into an S5, uh, also actually Note 3 also, um, since it also comes with Note 3 features. Now first of all, I've got uh, Ditto, Ditto Note 3 ROM here, DN3 ROM, um, and also on my AT&T Note 2, which you can install on AT&T T-Mobile, GTN 7105 Canadian, and also GTN 7100. Also I've got GTN 7100, you can also use um, the Ditto Note 3 ROM, or you can use Dr. Keaton's ROM, which is excellent, also very similar um, in features. And also for Verizon Note 2, I got uh, R3DS ROM. Um, this is another cool ROM that gives you a ton of features. So let me go ahead and go over some of these stuff. First of all, off the bat, all of these have ultra power saving mode, uh, which is really nice. For these two, I believe they're here, there we go. And you can go ahead and enable um, simply by clicking on this uh, quick settings there. Uh, for Dr. Dr. Keaton's, for the GTN 7100, um, you can go into settings, go to utilities, and uh, enable uh, ultra power saving mode here. All right. And that'll get me 10.7 days on almost 86% of battery life. Now let me go ahead and turn these off. Um, I've actually tested the ultra power saving mode and it's like it's actually accurate you actually do get that much battery life um let me go ahead and show you the verizon and this one which i actually actually been testing for about uh, two days and show you how much battery i have left this one i actually started with 100 percent battery life so this is probably the most accurate uh, let me go ahead and show you how much battery i've been getting uh, this is amazing the ultra power saving mode you know the uh, samsung started with the s5 but it's actually a simple concept you know your your smartphone uses the most battery life uh, when the screen is on so by making it black and white um, you know you save a ton more battery life and your, your battery life can last a ton longer and uh, you know other manufacturers will probably start copying this but let me go ahead and show you the battery stats here two days and 18 hours I still have 86 percent uh, battery life that's mostly on the ultra power saving mode and this one I actually started about with uh, about 60% battery life. And let me go ahead and show you the battery on this one. And you can see that I also got two days and 18 hours. I started at the same time. This one used a little bit more battery, but still very, very impressive. So with all of these ROMs, um, you'll be able to get the ultra power saving mode on the uh, Note 2, which is very nice. And also you do have um, download booster working on most of these, I think. And um, I'm not sure about that one, but this one, I know this one has it. Ah. All right, here we go. Let me just go ahead and show you with one of them. Um, you'll be able to find that here, download booster there. And also for this one, there's actually two settings UI. One is for the regular one and one is for the S5 UI. This one actually doesn't have it. Oops. And this one actually doesn't have it, I think, either. But not too, too, uh, too important there. Uh, let me go ahead and show you the next thing. All right, let me go ahead and show you the next cool stuff about these ROMs. Um, they have quad multi-window not all of them these two have it uh, except for the Verizon version uh, but let me go ahead and show you that you can get full quad multi-window with multi-instance browser that means you can open the stock browser multiple times into different windows have different instances running which is really cool sorry I'm just failing there there's my quad multi-window so you can tweet 
Um, you can go on your Google Plus. You can go on your Facebook. Of course, you'll have to sign into your uh, browser, but um, you know you can definitely do it. Resize it, uh, all that good stuff with th with these two ROMs. This one also has multi window uh, with multi instance, but no quad multi window for the Verizon R3DS. But still not a deal breaker. Looking good. All of these run um, modded S5 launcher. Uh, for those of you who've installed custom ROMs, you know what that is. It is super fast. Uh, you won't believe it's TouchWiz. And uh, I'm actually running stock Android 4.4.2 on my one of my Note 2s, and it is super laggy, super slow. If you're running stock Android 4.4.2 TouchWiz ROM, don't, because you're missing out on all these features. Uh, for example, these modded UI, you can go ahead and change the theme. Um, oops, let me go ahead and change the theme, or set the theme. And this one has it over here somewhere. And let me go ahead and change the theme for this one. You can change your phone into a LG G3. Um, you can change it into uh, I, even iOS 7 if you're coming from iPhone. Uh, also Sense 5.0 if you want to. And instantly you can get all these different, like 20 different themes. And look at that, it looks like an iPhone now. And this one looks exactly like my LG G3, and you got the Sense uh, theme there. So theming is awesome stuff, um, and especially with the modded launcher, uh, it's gonna be super fast for you. And also, one thing I really like about these ROMs, you'll get, be able to get the particle lock screen from the Galaxy S5. And also, of course, all of these ROMs have different types of customizations. Um, you know, I'm not gonna go into all of them, but let me go ahead and show you some of the stuff you can do with Dr. Keaton's ROM for the GTN 7100. You go to Utilities and Settings, and this is where you'll be able to find all of your stuff. You can go ahead and enable auto call recording, um, ad free if you want to. If you go to ROM here, you'll be able to uh, change your battery style if you want to. There we go. A broken circle if you want to. All these nice battery styles. Um, also, you can uh, access your ultra power saving mode along with additional uh, customizations. And also for the R3DS, I believe there's a some customization. Yeah, there is. Uh, there's this thing called Nebula Extras where you'll be able to customize everything. Um, it comes with stuff like Multi Window Apps Manager, which allows you to add your favorite apps to Multi Window or S Pen Window with the S Pen Window Apps Manager. Um, also, a bunch of exposed uh, modules you can play with. Uh, Wanam Toolkit, you can go ahead and use Wanam uh, Toolkit to uh, customize your whole UI, add shortcuts, um, port shortcuts when your screen's off. Um, there's additional Ultra Power Savings mon Manager module, uh, also uh, ac Expose App Settings, uh, a ton more ads, mods and add-ons, um, you know, look at all of this nice stuff. So very nice stuff. And also you can get additional themes here. Now the themes that I showed you um, are the ones you have to flash. It's the TouchWiz um, theme zip file that uh, I have on my site. You can download it and flash on all of these ROMs. Look at that, even the lock screen changed to the uh, LG G3. So looking very nice. Um, the Ditto Note 3, of course, all of these have uh, air command working and pen window, uh, which essentially turns your phone uh, into a Note 3. That way you can have floating multi-windows. There we go. And let me go ahead and launch uh, internet there. And here we go. Uh, let me go ahead and launch. Ah, what happened? Oh, sorry, I forgot to draw the window. It's like, what happened? Uh, gallery there. There we go. And you can do this on all of these uh, ROMs, and hence why I like them. Um, you know, because you get no three features as five features. Uh, it's really a hybrid ROM. Um, something this one, you know, this something S5 doesn't have even, which makes it actually better than the S5 with these ROMs on it. And I forgot to draw the S Pen window there, uh, but this one also does. To get this, make sure you enable Air Command uh, in settings, otherwise you won't get them. Um, but uh, all of these have pen windows, so you can multitask. Uh, on the go uh, with a lot, mo a lot more stuff. Now I'm not going to go over everything on here. Uh, if there's some extra stuff I forgot to mention, I'll put it on my site. And also do check out the XDA thread because that has all the features that these uh, ROM developers put on. And don't forget to donate to these guys. I'll have the donate links at the bottom of my website. 
And that was how to turn your Note 2 into an S5 slash Note 3 hybrid phone. Uh, also for the Note, uh, the Sprint Note 2, there is a DN3 ROM for it. Uh, it's a ported version, but it's still beta. Wi-Fi is broken, some things are broken. So I don't recommend it at this point. Probably in a week or two, I probably recommend it. So I'll update it on all my sites, so check that out. Uh, and that's about it. And thanks guys for watching this video. If you have a Note 2, don't forget to install these custom ROMs and try it out yourself. If you're still running stock, um, you shouldn't. You're really, you know, you're really losing out on all these cool features. So definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the Week. And as always, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and as always, stay on Android.